Who would like to start, please? Okay. Uh, well, Eddie first half, but we'll sit friendly, but Kieran came off after about 35 minutes in the first half. A lot of interest in him as he done himself an injury, or was that just proportionary? No, that was all planned. Um, so I think we spoke with Kieran and we thought the best thing for him to do would be to start the game, but He's still in the early stages of his recovery from his calf problem. We didn't want to take risks with him, so it was half an hour really was the, the aim. I thought he did well and, yeah, no injury there. Can't for the rest of the series or any chance of Friday? Uh, no, I don't think he'll play Friday. Well, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see how he feels. Um, he'll be there here with us for the whole trip. Um, but we have to make sure we treat him well, especially, as I say, it's the early stages for him. Just, I guess, how do you sum up the past... 36 odd hours flying straight from uh, England to, to play this game, thousand on of the MCG. Just a fan of doing these sort of things. What's it been like? Um, it's been different. I mean, the the journey here was something I've never experienced before. I wouldn't say I'd want to do it again necessarily, uh, especially playing a game so quickly after landing. I mean, the players have done incredibly well to to perform in the way that they did today after that. Um, so yeah it's something different for us but I think with every experience is it an opportunity to learn something new and to, to grow so uh, we've really enjoyed being here the short time that we've had in, in Australia everyone's treated us really well I mean to play here in this stadium with the atmosphere that was created today credit to both sets of supporters um, a brilliant venue With, um, with Garan Cole you gave him 20 odd minutes at the end what did you think of him and what was the thinking behind giving him this opportunity to just that really to, to give him an opportunity to showcase his talents you know he's um he's been with us since we uh, since we started our journey from england um, it's great to sort of see him again and chat with him and um difficult game to come into because we didn't have a lot of ball we we went to a, a slightly younger team so then it was a case of just defending and seeing the game out in that way and i thought he contributed to that and took his penalty really well so i'm delighted for him yeah, definitely. He'll be involved. Uh, it'll be a younger team for us. A lot of our international players will now move um, back to their various countries where they're going to prepare for the, the Euros and different competitions. Um, and yeah, we'll play a younger team. So a majority of the experienced players will have finished their seasons. What do you think he needs to sort of make that next step and be able to be ready for more games? I'm obviously spent time out on, on loan, but do you see him having more loans next year? Yeah, possibly. I think it's always very difficult to say for certain what's going to happen with the player at this stage because there's uh, a long way to go before the season starts. But possibly another loan spell for him, I think, will be important. I think he needs, he's had a couple of loan spells now, uh, but I think he needs the next one to be a successful one. We need him to play more game time. Um, hopefully that will happen. Can I just look back to the, um, the travel and the, the event so soon after the end of the season? Would, it, would it occasionally like this be a bit more... Doable, I guess, if it was a bit more of a break from the, the end of the season, to would it be a bit more palatable to do a tour like this? Yeah, I think in terms of performance in the game, I mean, the game today was slower than it would be in the Premier League. That, that's obvious. There was less attacking play because the players don't want to sprint after such a, a you know a long journey. But I think if you extend it and make the break bigger, then the players lose time and they've got their countries tournaments ahead. Uh, some will want to go on their holidays and start to switch off from football for a period of time because the season comes around very quickly and you know they've got another long season ahead of them. As the opposition coach coming in, did you get the feel here in Melbourne's season's game that's hometown? Did you get the feel that it was a lot about Angie's crowd? Not really, maybe slightly less than I expected. Um, of course, Angie's is huge here and, and quite rightly for his career and what he's done. But I think... Just from my experience here, the people that I've met, met, we've met a lot of Newcastle supporters around the city and they always travel incredibly well with numbers from various parts of the world. So we felt that love and support from our own supporters. Um, of course, there'll be a, a huge element that wants to support Ange and we totally understand that and I thought the crowd was really good tonight. Eddie, there's sort of talk in the future about European teams playing games overseas during the season. How was the crazy in the crowd? So was this a sort of a window for what might you guys might have in the future in terms of playing England and playing somewhere else overseas during the season? Yeah, I know there's been a lot of talk and I, I think there is possibility that may, might happen in the future, as you say, in various countries. I don't know, I'm, I'm torn on it a little bit, but I think, as you say, that this could be viewed as that. It could be a, an opportunity to sort of trial how that would look and um, I don't know, I, I'm not sure. I'm more of a traditionalist, I think, myself, but... 
I'm open to, to ideas that make the sport better. Go to the back there, sir. Was a, a bit of a challenge for you coming here. What about the players? Did they enjoy the experience? Or are they enjoying the experience? I think now they're here, yeah, I think they'll enjoy the moment and they'll enjoy the next few days. But I think it, it's probably the, the, the travelling is just something that I don't think any professional sports person who has to then perform a couple of days later really wants to take on uh, but they've done it in a with a really good attitude really good mindset and um, yeah, as I say now they're here I think they'll enjoy it hey, If I can switch gears for a second we saw over the night the news that Rancho Pochettino is playing in Chelsea yeah. seems that been going pretty well at the end of the season what was your reaction when you saw that news come through? Yeah very surprised I think Maurizio is I think a very very good manager I think he's done incredibly well regardless of um, the club he's managed uh, he's managed in various countries I think he was doing a really good job the, the light, latter part of the season their form was very strong they pipped us for, for sixth place um, I think it's sad for the Premier League whenever a, a manager loses his job especially when I think it's, it's, it's harsh in terms of it, the performances have been very strong That one in inch obviously the two games are pretty contrasting um, between you guys and, and Spurs this season. What have your experiences been like coming across from him, and especially more so on a personal level? Yeah, li limited because I think we've only come across each other from the games we've competed against each other, which is now three. Um, but in those three meetings that I've had with him, I found him to be a brilliant guy, very uh, warm, welcoming, really good conversations with him. I think he's uh, he got a great perspective on the game. So I've got a lot of uh, a lot of time for him in our short uh, discussions. Okay, thank you very much, everyone. There's one at the back. Thank you. I'm oh, sorry, one at the back. Yeah. Oh, sorry, um, how impressed were you with the, uh, the calm heads of the only takers to that? Very, it was a shoot yeah. Out, so. yeah, very good. I don't think some of them actually knew there was a penalty shootout. So that's very, yeah, well, I only found out with <laughs> 10 minutes to go. Um, so very cool heads. And I think sometimes that actually not knowing helps. Uh, so those young players that took penalties uh, did really well. And I thought Mark Gillespie and Goal made a, a great save that won us the game. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Thank you.